price action. If you want to have an easy time when you're trading, you have to understand price action trading. And I know you have tried all the indicators, you have tried all the strategies out there. Maybe you have tried so many things in your chart. Your chart is so busy, but you have never thought of doing a price action strategy. What I'm about to show you is an easy way of reading the candles. Price action is the movement of a candle. So I want to show you how to trade price action. And by the end of this video, you will be able to look the market differently. So majority of people understand that the market moves either uptrend, downtrend. You see, these are the basics that many people know. The market moves downtrend, sellers are in control, and then the market moves sideways. That one, majority of people know. But do you know how the candle is formed? Do you know how each this candle is formed? So the candle, the market will always start on a straight line like this. So this is the open of the market. And I don't know if you know this, but it's me, it's my work to help you understand that this is the open of the candle, of the day, open of the day. Let's say we are on the daily time frame. So that's the open of the day. So if the market opens above, so if the 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 candle goes, the price goes above. So we have either above on the uh, right side. And then here we have the below. So the thing is, if price goes above the open, above the open, buyers are in control. Okay. So if the market goes above the opens, the buyers are in control, and vice versa. If the market goes below, so if the if the if the market goes below. Sellers are in control. So that's basically how to understand price action. And I know majority of people keep asking, this price action I've never understood now. That's why I'm explaining to you uh, very in simple words. So if it is below, below I mean if the price starts to go below. Below I mean if it goes below the open. So the open, let's say it's a straight line that will not be interfered with. So that's how the, the price of the market will always start on that straight line. So everything is dependent on that line. So if the market goes above of that line, automatically it will change to be, to be green. Okay. So I have that. So if it is above the open of the day, and it is going up, the market is green. What if it, it is, um, what if it is, it starts to go down? If it starts to go down, it will be red. So there's no way, uh, that's how the, the market uh, is controlled. So whoever determines in the, is this straight line. So when the market is starting and they start to go down, they will be red. It will be a red candle. If the candle closes and it starts to go up, it will be green candle. That's how candle is formed. So you can't see the price going down and is color green. No, it will always be green if it is going up and it will be red if it is going down. Now, the question is, if the market goes down and now they want to go up, what is left here is the week for us to understand where the market had gone to. So what is left is the week. And that week is an indication that the market was once uh, down. And if it is past the open, the green, the, the red uh, week changes to green. That's how the market is. So understanding the open and the close. So in such a case, if the market now goes and Let's say for some reason, the buyers take their profit, the market will go a bit down. So we will have, we'll have the low of the day. Remember this low was a red candle, but it changed to be green. We have the open of the day. We have the close of the day. And we will have the high of the day. So if you don't know these things, how will you even master strategy? And you see, that's the problem with majority of you. You are watching, you are, you are so quick 
They're so quick to learn strategy. Oh, I want the best strategy to make money. The question is, how is your foundation? How is your foundation? So I don't want to insist more on this. It is in the course. If you want, if you're interested, you can buy it. But that is basically how each and every candle is given. So the question is, if you open this is your pair, if you open this is your pair and you want to trade and you're supposed to use price action, here I do not, I can't tell what is happening. I cannot tell. I understand the market is on an uptrend. And this is what I keep telling people. Just because the market is on an uptrend, just because the market has touched this and this, and you can see it is on an uptrend, does not guarantee you to buy immediately. So there's something that is called retracement. Market tends to, to come and retrace to this area and bounces off and continues to go up. So if you understand what I'm trying to teach you is that first understand the trend of the market. So we have to understand where are we? What is the trend? The trend is buying. So knowing the trend is on a buy doesn't guarantee you to buy. This market is on a buy and we will be now observing what is happening on this level. So the reason why they have uh, given you this uh, one candle support, this one candle support is to block or to blind sellers because majority of people, once that support is broken, they will start looking for sell they will start looking for sale. So there's the reason why that red candle was left there for people to start looking for sale instead of standing with their stand or I am looking for buy in, in no matter what. So what happens is that the market will start coming down and for some time, they will even create a support area to even show you that now sellers are in control. So this support area, once it is created, you can see, uh, they not only create a support area, but they have also created a resistance. So in other words, if I want to buy this trade, like I would want to continue buying, let them break my resistance and I continue buying. That is one way. Because them breaking my resistance, it means they are powerful. So we will observe the first resistance created if the market will break. And we will see how buyers are becoming. So let's see what happens in such a trade. They don't break the resistance. Instead, they start breaking support. What do you think is happening to people's mind? They think the market now sellers are in control and majority of people will start selling. So there's someone who will sell and their take profit will be there. That is 75 pips. So they will sell and the trade will be, uh, can take profit. You can see we have another resistance form. We have the second resistance form. So the market is now starting to create so many resistance that but buyers are unable to break uh, below. So what is happening in such a trade? Anyone who had entered the trade, they thought, oh, the trade of support and resistance is powerful. I will be trading the support. Uh, support When it is break, I sell and they make money. For the trend line traders, it's time they are selling and they can sell to this area. You see this area? They can sell to this area. So many people have different way of trading, but the question is, which one is consistent? Because I'm not saying that you can't make money. The question is, will you make money on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, one month, a whole year? That is the question. So in such a case, you can see what is happening. Now they have broken the first support. They have broken the second support. They have broken the third support. Price action is understanding what is happening, the behavior of the market. So in, in all this case, they are trying to, 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 get the, to get the sellers because majority of those who sold, they are now on drawdown and they have uh, another support here. So they are going creating support and then they create resistance. And because they know that majority of people, you can see we have a new sub resistance here. I don't know if you're understanding. Resistance is when a green candle is followed by red. Resistance is created when a green is followed by red. You can see buyers, I, many people bought here because, oh, it's an uptrend, oh, it's an uptrend. But now the market is selling. And the confusion here for many traders who don't know what is happening, they will say this is a reversal, but this is just a retracement. So how do we know that this retracement will come to an end if we see buyers having more power pushing the market above? So you can see, uh, let me put different colors. The blue are supports. 
These are support, another support, and the yellow ones are for buying. So you can see support is created, and now we have a support break. More sellers get in here. So we have more sellers, and there are people now who are regretting. They saw the market from here for those many days, more than two, three weeks, because this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Those are two weeks, one, two, three. So for three weeks, they have been seeing GBP as this selling. And when and they say, ah, now I can sell up to where? I can sell up to here. So the minute you enter your sell and the market does not sell and it overturns on you. The question is, why did this market overturn? Would we have known? Yes, it broke our past resistance that it could not have broken. That is what is called price action strategy understanding how candles are coming in and how they are going. So anyone who had put their trend line, uh, they are, first of all, the trend line uh, traders, I don't know how you trade, but the trend line broke, it was retested, but it failed. The support traders, the support was broken, making money, making money. So here maybe you stake a lot of money and everything was taken. So at the end of the day is understanding how you, you can see this move going down, there's so much uh, resist resistance. The sellers are not that powerful. They are struggling to take the market down. But you can see when buyers came in, and the only way we would have been concentrated on the buy is when this resistance was broken. Because in such a trade, let's say this is our market like here. If this is our trade and we want to enter the buy, I want to show you the price action. The price action is understanding that unless my current resistance is not broken, you can see all those resistance the market was not, was not able to break. Unless you're not breaking any current of my resistance, which business do I have with you buying? So if you you have said, and I told you guys, the minute um the minute the market is on an uptrend, uh, there's a video I did and I said, anytime you spot an uptrend come and look for a double bottom. So you might think, why did the market go up and I do not, there was no double bottom here. I told you, if we don't have a double bottom on daily, most probably they will pick this double bottom on four hour. So when you go on four hour, this is what you find. <clears throat> so you find, yes, we do not have a double bottom on daily, but we had this small double bottom on four hour. Can you see this one? And if at all you still go to lower time frame, like uh, uh, like let's say one hour, you will find where the market stopped. Where the market stopped, there were. Can you see that? Can you see this? This was the double bottom that they they used. They knew majority of people will never even go to one hour. How? They know market makers know some traders are very lazy. They will never go to a uh, lower time frame to check what is happening. So they knew even if we we uh, we don't have the double bottom on daily, majority will never know there's a double bottom. So here, this double bottom was so hidden. Now it was not even, I hope you can see it. There was a double bottom there, and then the market activated that double bottom. So when you come to four hours, in fact, on four hour, you could not have seen it. In four hour, it was not visible. You see, you could not have seen it. So you, you're thinking, ah, there is no double bottom because the, the double bottom that was supposed to be there has been broken. So you're thinking, ah, the market will come here. But they had hidden that double bottom on one hour. And the trend was a buy. So anytime a trend is on a buy, your work is to look for any double bottom pattern for you to continue buying up. And that's why the market went like that. I hope you have understood uh, the concept behind price action. Price action is understanding, number one, the trend, number two, how retracement can happen, and number three, which pattern can help you to be able to trade. In this case, you might have missed for three weeks not trading GBPSD, but if you, if you understood the patterns, how the price moves, the resistance breaking and everything, you'd have gained for so many weeks. These are so many days. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. For three good weeks, you'll be profitable. Anyway, guys, that is it for this video. I hope you're enjoying this free lesson. Take them seriously because this is information that I'm charging thousands of dollars for students who want to learn on a private mentorship. 
And I can't wait to share with you guys that um, this class of excellence, this is the class of excellence in October. It will be starting on the 14th. And like I've said, I am excited because I will be having three international students to join, joining me in this class. So if you have ever wanted to come to Kenya, maybe to visit, you can take a chance, come learn as you visit Kenya, make that trip. You know, many people plan trips to go to vacation. Have you ever thought that you can plan a trip to go and learn? So I have seen that with my student. That is the first offer that I have. The second offer that I have is the course, the recorded course. So if you can't come to Kenya, you can still buy my course at $1,000. It's called FHT for FHT Forex course. FHT means Forex Hidden Treasures. For me, I believe Forex is the hidden treasures. All this knowledge, uh, the way you can make money and, and, and change your life forever, the number is here. So it has 12 modules, 40 videos, lesson. The other offer that I have is for my international students that want one month mentorship. So these international students, uh, the class, your class will be starting on 20th October. It will be two classes every week, Sundays and Tuesdays, and it is 1500. The best thing with this class, I'll be trading live so we can trade live together as we learn. It is very engaging class for one month, two days every week two hours you can see the poster all the details are there in case you want to text me use the numbers that are given on the poster i have come to realize many people are being scammed i have felt very bad to come to realize that my name is being tarnished by scammers pretending to be me so in every of my videos i'll be leaving this and tell people in case you want to reach me, this is the best way to reach me because I wouldn't want you to be scammed a thousand plus dollars. I wouldn't want you to buy bitcoins for. Even I saw another page another day. Someone was asking me, "Are you selling these sofas?" I have seen Esther Moffley selling a, a seven seater sofa, and I was think, I was thinking, me selling, and I went to that Facebook account. They have posted that I'm selling, so be careful. If you see me now coming out loud and say, this is what I am giving, is because I don't want confusion. I want, at least by the time the scammer is coming to your DM, you already know the details. You already know what I charge, what I offer. For me, I don't sell signal. So that one, if uh, an Esther Moffrey, a scammer tells you I'm selling signal, already you'll be aware. So don't feel like I'm trying to self-market myself. Anyway, this is my platform. I can do what I want. I don't need to apologize. I don't need to, oh, I'm not self-marketing. Let me tell you, I don't want you to be scammed and I want I don't want my name to be tarnished. So you have to understand that I have three offers, Zoom webinar, uh, the recorded class and the physical class that happens in Kenya every month. Okay, guys, all the best. And I can't wait to see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Love you.